another episode of the Heads Up Hypers, guys. We won 90 euros the last session. We are back with the Songji. Top Tornado to the stream. We all love him. We all love him. Um, let's see how this one goes. I'm still in France. Till tomorrow, guys. You will see this video on Wednesday. Right now I'm in France for my third day. Probably having a good time, I hope so, with HG. Tomorrow we will play the 1KW Coop. Excited, excited, excited. So... Yeah, this is the last of these Heads Up Hyper Series versus Songshi. I mean, he has been great so far. We are up 120 euros on him in this short little session we streamed. Or we uploaded to YouTube. Gonna be calling here on the flop, even though raising is fine. But we can always hit the ace on the turn. We'll, we will be check raising the turn here. Make the straight on the river as well. I don't think he's too strong ever, so we just go for a little cheeky 40 bet here. If he raises us, it's a really interesting spot because he has queen check and he could have the backdoor hearts. So it would have been a tough decision, most likely I would have called because we chop it so often. He just jams it there, most likely a small pocket pair. Ace 4, I will call it. I'll just check that we can still like win a lot of chips when he tries to represent the ace on the board. This is bluffy sizing, I will call it with ace high. We just turn the ace. Like, this is awesome. He will bet again, we just call. And this is not a good river at all, check 10 got there and the spades got there. So we kind of have a tough decision here in the river, but he just gives up. Maybe he had a queen there, would make a lot of sense as well. Let's see. He had 10-4, just a complete bluff again. It's so funny that we have the sizing tell on him. He bets 25 every time he doesn't have it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Because I'm recording the series in a row, guys. So also, we will raise it here because he bets 25. Let's see, sometimes he has it, maybe. I mean, he made a champ with like King 5 in a spot like this earlier. But he just doesn't have anything, but he just thinks that. I don't know what he thinks. This poke stars of our people are going crazy. And yeah. Come on, just fold it once more, dude. He calls though. We hit the queen on the turn. We could like we could bluff now, but now we have so much showdown value. If he heroed us there with a nine and a six on the flop, that I don't really want to bet. I expect him to get a lot of his rush horse in on the flop as well. So actually, I would just call here, even though I'm not the biggest fan of it. And you will check it here in the river. I hope he just checks back. Seven eight. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what to think here. Wow, we have the best hand. That is awesome. What did he have there? I'm really interested to see. 6-10. Damn. That was a nice turn. Wait, what? He had 6-10 with the 10 of hearts? No, the 10 of spades. That was just wrong in the whole dimension thingy. Oh my god, man. This guy must hate us. Like, he must hate us so hard. <laughs> man, I should do this more often in Pokers as of R, man. I'm up 120 euros on him. Not too bad. Not for session. He limps it and we checked it with the 4-3. Not gonna be betting the check turn here, even though I would have called it a $20 uh, or like 20 bet. Gonna be checking the river again. Let's hope he has like 10 7 with the 10 of clubs. Wow, he has that. Watch him have the 10 7 with the 10 of clubs. Wow, 6 10 with the 6 of clubs, man. I was so close, man. Like, we got this guy so hard in the cage, man. He just wakes up with the kings, as I said. Would have gotten in on the flop anyhow. I mean, that's just an unfortunate flop for us. Uh, like, set up. We make a good jam, you know, we always jam versus rangers, he wakes up at the top of his, nothing we can do. I mean, he never limp called us before, so maybe it's good to do it with the check six, you know, just jam it pre there. But I'm still not sure if it's, it's like true that he folds every time. King three, we are going to jam for 11 here. He folds it. Queen three suited now. Gonna be jamming versus limp once again, he folds just too much. There we go. Queen 10 we jam. Just a lot of push fold now. And no 8. Holy shit, no 9. No 9. Oh. Ah. ah, the 9, man. The 9 is a crazy thing, dude. Unfortunate. God didn't 
had him dominated for the win. What right, can you do? At the end of the day, the reason people like him play is that they can win because of variance and like running good. She just stood there. Obviously ran good earlier when we hit the queen on the turn. Hmm. We'll be raising it again here. Even though this is actually his value sizing, but we have a gutter. I mean, that's not completely true now with the sizings. We saw him having the third pair as well earlier. He also saw us re-raising him with air, so we gotta be a little bit careful with our re-raises. I think it would be really good to mix in a good hand. He just calls. I actually feel that he is the type of guy who would get in a 9 here on the flop. So I would just like continue betting because I think he has a lot of deuces and threes that we actually beat. So if he doesn't have like a crazy set or two pair combination, we are good here. I will check the river here. And he will check back a deuce and a three a lot. If he champs, it's kind of awkward for me. I actually will call because I'm a little bit too interested to see what he has. Okay, that's how that makes sense. So that was the worst turn that we could have gotten. Yeah, because like the problem is like I maybe I made a really bad call down the river, I think. I know that I'm beat. I think that he has like the two pair there, so there a lot. Um and obviously a straight like that. So I should have folded the river there. I was just like a little bit too curious to see what he had there, to be honest. Which is not a thing you should have in poker if you're like more advanced. But I don't know man. Just had to look what that one was about. I don't know why I called that flop, guys. I need to focus here. We punched the last hand. Gotta get back in the zone here. Are we checking down. Let's hope check high is good. Could be jamming the river to a bad man. I'm getting a little bit spewy here. Alright, check high is actually good. We made a good <laughs> float down the flop, man. He would be like, what the fuck is this Korean wizard? 7 4 he had. Got him. Got him! That's what we do. He jams it. Once again, I think these are always like threes and deuces. I didn't have like kings or aces or anything like that in this headset match, man. Pretty crazy. Just calling again with the ace. I think we want to float him here. We have the backdoor diamonds and he really likes to represent these spots. He never checked the king-queen board when he nimmed or raised pre. Pick up a flush draw and a guard shot here on the check. Hopefully he just checks the back and we can realize our equity. But he bets again 80 here. We gotta call 80 to win 220 with implied odds to hit the diamond and 10. I think we can actually justify a call here. And then ace can be good as well. Let's hope it just goes check check and he shows king seven. Hmm. I just don't think he will bluff this river too often, but this feels like it's only king ten and queen ten. We lose two. Wow, pocket kings he had. Once again, a freaking monster, man. This dude. This dude and his kings, man. I never got a good hand like that. I think like the best hand we had was like ace king once. Sick, 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 sick. We put out a small bet here. I think we get caught by seven and eight and, and weaker fours as well. Uh, uh, threes as well. A lot of hands in this calling range. Man, I'm recording like for a long time now, 40 minutes already. Uh, I think we play one more heads up after this match. And then we end the session. And then we are back with live streams tomorrow. Decent flop here for us. We're going to be raising, getting it in with our spade draw. We're raising it to 110. Gonna be calling his jam. If he just calls, we'll be jamming the turn. Alright, this time he folds. We're back to even. Let's make this win happen, guys. It's gonna be limping anything here at this point. He's raising us for the first time like that. Usually I'll jam this, so I will do it again. But I'm a little bit curious. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't jam. We need an ace or a six here. Oh shit, there's always an ace. There's always an ace, guys. It's just a thing you can always believe in. Most likely we are going to chop it here, even though on this flop this might change. Yep, that's unfortunate, but okay. Getting into force now for two big blinds. Add deuces. God damn it, brain, wake up. Let's win the flip. No six, no ten, no five, no eight, and we do that. We win another one. So we break even for this session. Last match for the day. I mean, I could play this guy for days. For days, boys. But I have... A lot of things to take care of today. And I also want to get a little bit of studying in there. I'm watching, like, right now, I'm watching a review of the Thursday Thrill. And I think that would be quite interesting with me playing a similar tournament, even though with a lot more players. Fairly soon. Gonna be raising this one to 60 here. I'm gonna be calling a jam. I should put in more raises to 60 there in the first level versus his limbs. I think I will do this now more often. 
not now with the queen check since we just did it, but if I had like some like 7, 10 here, I would definitely do it. I think we can represent the ball a little bit harder with our checking range than him. So we get some folds here from like king 8, king 8 type of hands. So that's the reason we bet. I need tanks and cars. We could bet like we small to push him off in a king 8 or ace 8 here, but I think it's fine, just give up. Seems fair to have queen 3 there. Limp champion is, uh, actually not limp champion, the, the only time he popped it up to 60 was when he had it. I would just fall to the champ there as well. He hasn't been abusing our limps too much yet. Can't be champion, he has 4 or 7 numbers to raise. We are see from Strasbourg, okay. Gonna be limp calling ace 9 though. There's a 9 in the flop. I think we wanna bet this. He has a like he calls with queen check, queen ten, check ten, a nine, a four, six, seven. Well, he raises us actually. I'm just coming in for the call. Don't wanna fold this. It's not a good turn here with the check. It's not a good turn. It all depends on the sizing here and its half part. I would just give it to him and give him respect for that sizing. Kind of sucks to fold that hand, but I think the check is such a bad card that even if he has bluffs, he kind of gets there on the check. Whoa, I'm sorry for that guys, somebody just followed the stream while we go offline. <laughs> Shouldn't happen too often. So that was a little bit of a Thanks for the follow, man. Check out my Twitch channel, guys. <laughs> uh, gonna be just checking it down here. This queen is not a good river at all. Once again, we have to fold. This one doesn't go too well, man. We're down 300. Not cool, bro. Not cool. So wait, we won one and we lost one this session, so we break even right now. Hopefully we can make another profitable session. Alright, take it, sir. Take it. Queen check, we're gonna limp call. Pretty nice flop. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like to fold the C bets. I think we wanna start in bet 28 here. He just folds. Hmm. King Knight suited, we get in here. He limps, we jam. Man, like he just doesn't trap us, you know? He just does not trap us. But we do trap him. For example, with the nines here, let's go. No ace. No ace. Got him. I mean, this doesn't change if you jam or like limp call. But we're back in the chip lead. Awesome. <laughs> I really want to win this, man. I want to have three winning heads-up sessions. That would be awesome. I mean, actually, I would champ the queen duels because he never raised called us before. And it's crazy. He just never raised called us before. Nine high will be a fold for me. Not on the turn, though. Not on the turn. we we'll tank a little bit before we bet. I want to make, like, think about it as if we were, like, bluffing here. Um, if I was bluffing though, I would bet really swiftly, fairly swiftly. He just gives up, which is super crazy in my opinion. I would just open jam eights now. I think we want to like take the line and like trapping with nines and like jamming eights. King seven. We would have to call it. It's not great and I'm super happy about it though. Queen is be jam. I mean, once again, we got him in the ropes and he's just folding way too much. Which you definitely abuse. Ace ten snapping him. No three. I mean a 10 and a 5, or oh, 5. Oh, the 10 in the river for another win, guys. We win 30 euros in that session as well. Well, that was a pretty good series with that guy. We are up 150 euros on him. Be sure to check out yesterday's episode. We absolutely crushed him in that one. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm back tomorrow with the 1KW Coop. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck at the tables.